Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel this week. So a few days ago, I saw a study saying the Pfizer vaccine temporarily decreases sperm counts in sperm donor in Israel. Now the title of the study was quite alarming. So I would like to take this chance to break it down for all of you and explain its implications. So let's get started. Now before we diving into the study, let's have a quick overview of what we know about COVID-19 and testis function. That is summarized in this review article published in Nature Urology. We know that the SARS-CoV-2 virus can enter any cell type that has ACE2 and TMPLSS2 receptors or cells with only ACE2 receptors. Every cell type except for spermatocytes and spermatids in the testis has ACE2. A quick note, spermatocytes and spermatids are cells that are in the last two steps in becoming sperm. They only have 23 chromosomes or half of any regular cells in our body. The spermatogonial stem cells and spermatogonia, which are the cells in the very early steps of sperm formation, express both ACE2 and TMPRSS2, now putting them at risk of SARS-CoV-2 infection. In theory, the virus can directly affect sperm formation, leading to sperm death, reduction in sperm count, and decreased motility. It can also cause increased inflammatory cytokine production, inhibit hormone production, and negatively impact genital organ functions. Now that we know how the virus could affect sperm formation, let's look at how this new study shows that the Pfizer vaccine impairs sperm count or sperm concentration and total motile count. This is a retrospective longitudinal multi-center study that looked at 220 sperm bank samples from 37 sperm donors with an average age of 26 years old. Now, the donors were PCL confirmed to be COVID negative and had no symptoms of COVID infection. All of them had received two doses of the Pfizer COVID vaccine. Sperm samples were compared at four different time points. T0 is the baseline or pre-vaccination phase. T1 is between 15 to 45 days after vaccination of the second dose. And T2 is 75 to 120 days. And T3 is the long-term evaluation phase for more than 150 days after two doses of the vaccine. Let's look at the result. This study looked at semen volume, sperm concentration, sperm motility, and total motile count with two analyses. First, they measured repeated samples and saw that only T2 showed a statistically significant decrease in sperm concentration and total motile count compared to before vaccination. Now, even though T3 was low, it was not statistically significant. Then they looked at the first sample collected and saw the same statistically significant drop in T2 and not in any other measured periods. Overall, they reported that T3 evaluation showed recovery. That means the drop in sperm concentration and the total motile count are temporary and restored after 150 days. A few more studies also looked at how the Pfizer vaccine may affect sperm parameters that were published in 2022. Now let's have a quick look and make a comparison. This first study was done in Italy and measured similar sperm profiles before and three months after the second dose. They saw no differences in sperm parameters in their study. The second study here was done in Israel as well. This study included both normal and abnormal semen samples. They also reported no changes in both normal and abnormal semen samples between one to three months after two doses. The third study again came from Israel. Now, this study also looked at sperm bank samples before and 72 days after the second dose. Interestingly, this study saw the total sperm count and total motile count actually increased after the second dose. Despite all of the findings, none of these studies looked at the reasons for sperm parameter changes. 
The latest study we've just looked at speculated the cause was due to systemic immune responses rather than vaccine components directly interacting with testicular cells. I know some may wonder if the virus or spike protein could lead to the changes. Now, a case report showed moderate COVID infection could have an acute effect on stopping sperm formation, but the effect was quickly reversed after recovery. We need to keep in mind that this study that is in the center of our discussion today has limitations, such as the small sample size. They also did not account for possible things that could affect sperm counts in the donors, such as some lifestyle changes. Now, the measured samples were also from prime age males. This study has certainly given us some answers, but more questions remain. Now we are not only talking about two doses; many have received three doses and potentially another booster before the winter. If sperm recovery happens after 150 days, then how would getting a booster every five to six months affect the sperm parameters? Now let's assume the author's speculation is correct, and the changes in the sperm parameters were only because of body stress from the vaccine-induced systemic immune response. Still, vaccination will always induce stress, which ties back to the problem that there aren't any long-lasting COVID vaccines available yet. And finally, would future vaccination schedules need to be factored in with family planning? The bottom line is that the latest Israel study showed there is an association between the vaccine and decreasing sperm count and sperm motility for a short period of time in a small sample size. At the same time, there were also other studies showing there were no significant changes in sperm parameters after vaccinations. So this tells us there is still more to learn about the COVID vaccine and as well as the disease. I hope this video has given a balanced analysis of what we know so far about the COVID-19 vaccine and male fertility. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this topic. If you would like to learn more about general health sciences and ongoing public health issues topics, please consider hitting the subscribe button. That is all for this week, and I hope to see you in my next video. Meanwhile, please stay safe, stay healthy, and please take care. Bye.